Hey folks, Sylvie's here. So I am here north of Port Hope. You can look on my map here. We're like directly north of Port Hope. The Smuggler Cave is just a little bit to my southwest. Uh, we are here at Vescu. Um, now to get into this dude's building, you need to use a, a machete, obviously, but you can talk to him just through the wall, so you don't need to. Oh, it's really cool that he's got a beer cask in his house. I didn't realize that. So to talk to this dude, you need to be drunk. If you try to talk to him, he just ignores you, basically. One, two, tolls. Hello, little tolls. Heck, yeah, there you go. It's good to know, though, that he has beer in his house, so if he just runs out, I don't have to run back to town. So, now I can talk to him, because I'm drunk. <laughs> hey there, you look like somebody who enjoys a good booze. So this is the uh, how to get your assassin's outfit quest, plus the add-on. So you want to say to this dude, sober. I wish there was, like, a potion which makes you sober in an instant. Dwarven rings wear off so fast. That's uh, impressive, actually. Potion. I think you have to say potion to him. It's so hard to know the exact time when to stop drinking. Could you help me brew such a potion? Yes. And now, like most of the outfit quests, he gives you a massive quantity of things that you need. You're a true buddy. I promise you I'll try to avoid killing you even if somebody asks me to. Listen, I have this old formula for my grandmom. It says 30 bone lord eyes, 10 red dragon scales, then 30 lizard scales, 20 fish fins. Ew, this sounds disgusting. I wonder if this really is a potion or rather a cleaning agent. Add 20 ounces of vampire dust, 10 ounces of demon dust, and mix it well with one flask of warrior sweat. Oy, that is a lot. We'll take this step by step. Will you help me gathering uh, 30 bone lord eyes? Okay, bone lord eyes. Drop from bone lords. Um, there's a bone lord cave that's pretty solid in the Fenrock area, although also kind of confusing and hard to get to. Um, I do not think elder bone lords drop them. In fact, I'm actually going to double check that real quick. Give me one second. Yeah, okay, Elder Bone Lords do in fact drop them, Bone Lords drop them, and Brain Deaths drop them. So your best bet is that uh, that cave I spoke to you about, or there's a cave on the western coast of Liberty Bay that's just full of Bone Lords of all varieties. Um, the top level is the baby ones, I think they're called Gazers. Let me tell them, yes, here. Gazers and Bone Lords, the first bottom area has elders and bone lords and then the second bottom area has brain deaths and that's just it on that one and then it has a teleport that brings you back to the beginning so you can just complete the circuit um okay so what do i have to say to this dude are we still talking to him uh <laughs> bone lord eyes So yeah, you need 30 of them. Not too terribly difficult. Um, you'd also buy them. They're not super expensive. I think they're around like, uh, I think I had to buy a couple of them and I think I spent around like 1.2K per eye, which wasn't too terrible. Uh, now he needs red dragon scales. Those come from um, red dragon scales. Yes, I got all of them. Those come from dragon lords. Um, Pits of Inferno Dragon Lord uh, area, uh, Darashia DLs, Fenrock DLs, DLs are everywhere. Come on. All right, good work. Oh, what was your name again? Anyway, come back with thirty lizard scales. Lizard scales are dropped by lizards, both the uh, the boring ones that nobody ever hunts, and uh, the high lizards in the muggy plain. Uh, these cost basically nothing off of the market because everybody hunts the uh, high lizards in the muggy plains. This potion will become pretty scaly. I'm not sure yet if I want to drink that. I think the 20 fish fins, which come next, won't really improve it. Now, fish fins are also relatively inexpensive. Let me pull this up real quick. Fish fins. Yeah, okay. So fish fins drop by a couple of like random monsters, but mostly core and deep links. They're also relatively uh, cheap on the market. So fish fins, I wouldn't, they, I think they were like 80 gold or something a pop. Dude, that's a disgusting smell coming from 20 fish fins. All right, thank you for the fish fin, fish. Get me 20 ounces of vampire dust now, then I'll have another beer. Vampire dust for me were on my server were about 1.5k. Um, vampires are in several of the tombs. The tar pit tomb is the one that comes to mind. Um, there's also the Vampire Crypts in Drefia, and there's also the Edron Vampire Crypt, and then also tons of, uh, vampires, I would imagine, on Vengoth, although I've never been there before. Vampire Dust. Yes. 
Thank you. Trolls are good for something after all. Bring me 10 ounces of demon dust. Comes from demons. I don't really hunt a lot of demons, so I'm not 100% certain where to get this. I bought it off the market because demon dust was actually cheaper than vampire dust. Coming in at around 900 gold a pop. Uh, great. You're a real killer like me. I think I'll give you something fun when this potion is complete. But first, bring me a warrior sweat. Warrior sweat is gotten uh, a couple of monsters actually drop it. Uh, I can check that real quick. But your easiest way of getting it is well. Let's pull this up. All right. Warrior sweat is dropped by undead gladiators and uh, I think a boss. But uh, your easy way of getting it is just trading its four warrior helmets to one, whichever one of the jins that you are uh, set up with. Um, in my case, though, warrior helmets are uh, 5k, I guess, on the market, and uh, I was able to buy it for 14k, so it was actually cheaper to just buy it from somebody. Um, warrior's Sweat. Do I actually have to put the apostrophe in? I'm glad I don't. That smells even worse than the fish fins. Is that Warrior's Sweat? Yes. Ah, there we go. I'll just take a small sip. Okay, this is disgusting, but it seems to work. I'll teach you something fun. Remind me to tell you a secret sometimes. Now what do I say to this dude? Secret? Right, since you helped me brew this potion and ensured the high quality of my work, I'll give you my old assassin costume. It lacks the head part, but it's almost like new. Don't pretend to me uh, be the, to be me, though, okay? Do I have to say yes? Okay, so does that mean I have the outfit now? Do, 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 do. Oh, I got the outfit. All right, I should change my colors, though. Um, we'll, we'll do the whole ninja thing and go full black. There we go. Wrong button. I want to get off my mount. There we go. All right, so now we have that. Next, we need to get the add-ons. So what do I say to this dude? Hi, add-ons? I can give you a scar as an add-on. All right, well, let me see what I actually have to say to this dude now. <laughs> oh, we actually have to go to an entirely different person. Check that out. Fascinating. All right, well, let me go get to that person. I'm going to pause the recording here real quick. Okay, folks, so this is um, Marina, the island it's called. Um, you're going to need access to this for most of the uh, outfit quests because you need to get the spools of yarn from this little mermaid lady, Marina, uh, which are also needed in this quest. So make sure you get those because, you know, you're going to need access. So to get here, you have to do, like, the beginning early stages of the Shattered Islands quest. It's very simple, um, if not a little bit time-consuming. To talk to her, you have to get her a love poem. It doesn't cost a lot, but it takes a little bit of time. And then uh, she gives you access to those turtles. And then you're right now I'm on what's called the Laguna Islands. Um, there's three of them, and you transport them via, or you transport around them via giant uh, turtle. Tortoise, I guess that is. Um, various types of frogs. Toads, turtles, crabs, tortoises, again, whatever. So anyway, uh, and then we go this way. As you can tell by looking at my map, by the way, uh, I haven't been here before. In fact, uh, all of my, all the visible stuff on my map was uh, picked up minutes ago by me. I killed these, by the way. By me checking to make sure I was going the right way. So this is actually, uh, when Liberty Bay first came out, I did, in fact, get access to here and hunted here like once or twice, but um, that was what, like 2009, <laughs> 2008, and I've never come back. So this is the first time in a long time I've been here and I actually don't have any idea what I'm doing. All this place is all sorts of annoying. Now, the dude should be down here. Ah, right. Well, now I remember what I have to do. So to talk to this dude, just like the other one, you have to be drunk. This one, you have to be invisible. And I think you can just take it off. Yeah. Although he might not talk to you. <laughs> what the? I mean, of course I sensed you. All right. So you just want to say add on to this dude. Add on. Vescu gave you an assassin's outfit. Ah, noticed it lacks the headpiece. You look a bit silly. Want my old headpiece? Yes. All right. Thought so. Could use some help anyway. Listen, I need some stuff. Someone gave me a strange assignment. Sneak into Thice Castle at night and shroud it with cloth without anybody noticing it. I wonder why anyone would want to shroud a castle. But as long as the guy pays, no problem. I'll do it. The sneaking part. Need a lot of cloth, though. I'm gonna make it colorful. Bring me 50 pieces of blue cloth, 50 pieces of green, 50 pieces of red, 50 pieces of brown, 50 pieces of yellow, and 50 pieces of white. Besides, gonna need another 10 spools of yarn. 
Understood? Yes. Surprising that he wants brown, but not yellow. All right. Now I already have all these things. Blue Cloth. Uh, comes from a whole bunch of higher level monsters that aren't going to be fun to fight. And then also blue pieces of cloth. Um, comes from Mino Hunters and Mino Worm Pri Priestesses. And then also comes from uh, Blue Jins and uh, Murids. So the fact that it comes from the Minos lowered the price pretty drastically. So it was not expensive. And then I just need to say blue cloth, I think. Yes, I'm glad he didn't make me type in pieces. Good. Get me 50 pieces of green cloth. Now, the green cloth is the slightly rougher one to get here. Again, drops by a whole bunch of like higher difficulty monsters, um, hideous funguses, things like that, um, hellhounds. Also drops from Mino Hunters and Worm Priestesses, although in lower quantities, and then also drops from Ifrits and uh, Green Jins. Um, I actually got all of mine tasking green gins in Yalahar, so I didn't have to buy any of them. And I didn't want to buy any of them because they were they were closer to 4k on my server, whereas the blue ones were like 700 gold. So we got our green cloth. Oh, did I just leave them somewhere? <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> I forgot to get the... <laughs> I'll be back. So yeah, as I'm uh, walking back, I'll tell you what happened there. Um, it was a whoopsies moment on my part. I had uh, gotten 42 of them, which was the ones I'd already had, plus the ones I got from killing the 500 uh, green gins and a fritz, and then also dropping the boss. Um, and then bought the remaining eight myself, but I forgot to get them out of the mailbox. So whoops, green cloth. Yes, all right, next. Red Cloth. Red Cloth comes from Barbarian Bloodwalkers. Is dropped by your Minos and Ormond again. Also your higher level Minos. Dropped by a whole bunch of things like Infernalist Furies and whatnot. And then also more importantly is dropped by Heroes and all the things that are in the Hero Fortress. The, um, the price of Red Cloth had gone down significantly before the Hero Fortress. But the Hero Fortress has made the price of those go down even further. So they're basically worthless. Brown cloth comes from um, ghouls mostly, which makes it largely uh, inexpensive. Yeah, ghouls, the weaker barbarians, and then a whole bunch of incredibly dangerous stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, the fact that it dropped by ghouls makes it uh, incredibly inexpensive also. Oh, I guess we did need yellow pieces of cloth. Did I not bring them? Okay, no, I did bring yellow pieces of cloth. What am I talking about? Yellow Cloth. Yellow Cloth is a little bit rare, was a little bit more expensive, but not to a huge extent. Um, yellow Pieces of Cloth comes from a whole bunch of variously powerful monsters and stuff like that, but more importantly, drops by mummies, which uh, made it not very expensive. And then White Pieces of Cloth, as always, are dropped by a whole bunch of various powerful monsters that you're probably not going to hunt for White Pieces of Cloth but are also dropped by Blood Hands and Blood Priests, and then Ghosts, well, pretty much all types of Ghosts. Um, best place to get those was Drefia, and I actually hunted about half of them from Drefia, but then just purchased the remaining ones. The ones I purchased were around 2.5k. And then 10 spools of yarn. Yarn is uh, from Turning Spider Silks into Yarn. I don't think anything drops yarn besides the Old Widow and Mama Longlegs. Um, otherwise, you actually need to get the silks. Silks drop from spiders, obviously. All right, here's my old assassin headpiece. Let's set that outfit up. Add on. Boom, I'm a ninja. All right. So, yeah, uh, for the spider silks, by the way, um, your best bet would be either Nyblor with the crystal spiders if you're slightly lower level, um, or giant spiders. Planes of Havoc. Um... Forbidden Lands Giant Spider Spawn, uh, Port Hope Giant Spider Spawn, uh, Yalhar Cemetery Quarter. Giant spiders are pretty common. Everybody knows where to go get giant spiders. All right, and now I'm going to pause while we go to the last NPC, because we do have to go to another NPC. Pausing. All right, I'm back. Here is the, this is the little, like, magical force field barrier that um, gets you into Gorma. Ah. Uh, you have to do the beginning part of the Shattered Isles here. That means you have to kill, like, a black sheep or something is the annoying part that I remember. Um, 
Okay, we're going to the... Great, found the spot. Awesome. Um, although I do need to, to, uh, to talk to this NPC, you have to be on fire. So I need to go find me some fire so I can walk through it. Fire. Maybe. Somewhere. Really? Also, because this is a uh, non-PVP server, I can't even light myself on fire. Crap. <laughs> I don't think there's anything on fire on Ramoa. Uh, well, this is annoying. <laughs> this is uh, quite annoying, actually. Ah, there we go. Fire. Alright, let's rush back to that NPC. Get out of my way. Blue, spooky blue eye. I want to see if the ghost dropped a, uh, whatever. White piece of cloth. So I can immediately feel annoyed at the fact that I had to buy a whole bunch of them. The white piece of cloth ended up being the most expensive ones, actually. Anyway, for this dude, you need a behemoth claw, and you need a, um... Nose ring. Uh, that's a good show, Sylvius, with all the pyrotechnical effects you got my attention, for a minute at least. Alright. So, we go add on. You managed to deceive Ario? Impressive. Well, I guess since you have come that far, I might as well give you a task too, eh? Yes. Look, listen, I don't have a list of stupid objects. I just want two things a behemoth claw and a nose ring. Got that? Yes. Okay, good comeback when you have both. Should be clear where to get the behemoth claws from. There's a horned fox that wears a nose ring. Good luck. Do I have to say hi to this dude again? Um, add on? I told you to bring me a behemoth claw and a nose ring before we continue talking about your assassin outfits. What's so different? What do I have to say to him? Behemoth claw. I see you brought my stuff. Good, I'll keep the promise. Here's a katana in return. Right, I just took him. Alright. Swift death. Print screen. <laughs> right, print screen. There we go. Move my cursor off of it. Um, so yeah, behemoth claws are dropped by behemoths. They can be sold to Yasir for 2k, so they're around that price range. I actually bought mine for a little bit more because I was in a hurry. Um, and the nose ring is dropped by the horned fox. He can show up as a random spawn, but he's also a task monster. You have to be, you have to pick up his task though when you're under level 40, and then you have to kill 4,000 minotaurs, which is kind of a hefty task. Um, I didn't do the task. I just bought mine. Uh, when I checked before I came here, there were sell offers for um, 150k and buy offers for 120k. So expect around that price range. And now I got a little sword on my hip. Bam! Look at that. Kind of wish this uh, ladder wasn't right there in my face. Kind of ruins it. But anyway, all right, folks, that's it. Um, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Check me out on Patreon, Twitter, Facebook. I'll see you, folks. It's been a while since I did a video like this. It's nice.